What is up, what is up, what is up YouTube? It is your boy Diamonds here at Common Sense Graphics. And today in this video, I'm gonna be talking about how to make graffiti on your iPad Pro in Procreate. And let's get started. One of the first things that I do is I draw a pair of guides. I make sure that they're perfectly level and everything. The bottom line is always gonna be shorter and the top line is gonna be longer because it helps me keep my letters in place as I draw my graffiti. And when you're drawing, you know, it's, it's really easy to get them out of level. And so these guys really help. And then I just lower the opacity of them later, you know, just so they're not in the way. But um, let's continue on because these guys really do help out as you can see in the video. And just like any of my other drawings, the first thing you should always do is just rough sketch out what you want to make. For me, I'm going to be trying as something a little bit different, I'm drawing this random word. I believe the word I wrote is view, and it's just a really cool way I'm drawing it. It's kind of a little blocky slash curvy style, kind of organic, mixed with inorganic style, and it just looks really cool. So first thing you do is just, you know, you just want to get your base lettering out before you start adding all of the detail. The detail usually takes the longest, the outlining is, you know, there. So pretty much, you know, just have some fun with it, make your rough sketch, make it look cool. It doesn't matter if you do any overlapping or any, any crazy lines that doesn't work because you're always going to go back and edit it later. As you see here, I am now starting to outline process. And the outlining process is usually the longest for me because I want to make it look good, depending if I want to use crisp, clean lines or if I want to do, you know, like rough, jagged lines. But in this type of art I'm doing, I'm going to try doing more of a crisp, clean <clears throat> style of line. Excuse me. And, um... It's really important that you also try to aim for long straight strokes instead of doing lots of mini strokes. The better you are getting at your long strokes, it makes it look more clean instead of having to go over your line again as if you're, you know, sketching. And so outlining can be a bit difficult. And for me, what I did here is I took the image that I drew out, I copied it and I pasted it inside of a bigger folder. I went from a 2K file to a 4K file just to make it a bit bigger, a bit more longer as I'm now proceeding on to the detail. I'm not gonna add any color to this image this time around just because I don't think I should. Um, I can always do a video later based on the coloring because coloring is a huge long topic. But in this one, just for now, black and white while I'm getting everything done, getting all the emphasis and stuff on there. But that's pretty much it when it comes to drawing your graffiti. Just really just have some fun with it because graffiti can be anything. It can look like anything. If you've ever been to anywhere where there's a lot of graffiti and you look at it, you might not understand it just because graffiti is its own thing. It's whatever. It's art at its purest form. It can be anything. And, you know, it's vigilant and it's it's beautiful and it's you know it's always different you never know what you're gonna get because it's just always a bunch of things just thrown together to make it look like it is but as i said in this video if this is just basic graffiti black and white not gonna do too much shading or anything like that no colors and um that's pretty much it when it comes to this video i hope you guys enjoy but your boy diamonds here at, at comment says graphics rate comment subscribe hit that like button show me some support trying to get better at this trying to get myself going uh let me know what you guys think down in the comments you